yesterday I was I got a call from uh, Jimmy Barnes on my head to the airport and uh, uh, I got some horrible news he said he had some horrible news for me that he's just been uh, been served by the Kentucky Race Commission that uh, Medina Spirit our Derby horse had been uh, tested positive for 21 picograms of beta methadone and all I can tell you is that uh, beta methadone even though it's an allowed drug medic therapeutic medication uh, I we did not give it I my veterinarian nobody here we, we that matter of fact Medina spirit has never been treated with beta methadone so I cannot believe that I'm here um, before you guys, I never thought I'd be here. Uh, yesterday, I got the biggest gut punch in racing for something that I didn't do. And, and this is really, it, it's disturbing. It's an injustice to the horse. Um, I feel like, you know, here's, here, here you win a race and you're, you're still not, to me, the, the I don't know what's going on in racing right now, but there's something not right. And I don't feel embarrassed. I feel like I was wrong. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna do a complete, you know, our own investigation. We're gonna be um, uh, transparent with the racing commission, like we've always been. Uh, we're gonna show them everything. One thing about it in California, everything is documented every day what the horses get. Uh, this horse was never treated with that, and he's a great horse. He doesn't deserve this. He ran a, a gallant race, and um, to me, I, I just feel, you know, like this last 18 months, what I've gone through, and it's just like, it's like all of us right here. You just imagine yourself going to, to work every day, and if they tested you every day for these levels, these contamination levels, and they told you if you tested positive, you were going to be fired. That's the way I feel. I do not feel safe to train. I, and I, it's, it's getting worse. And to me, you know, going forward, I mean, how do I enjoy, you know, to train? How do I, you know, move forward from this, knowing that something like this can happen? And uh, it, it's just, it's a complete injustice. And, um, but we're going to, I'm going to, fight it tooth and nail because this horse you know i i owe it to the horse i owe it to the owner and i owe it to our industry and our industry needs to step up and we need to do a better job in racing there's something wrong right now with it what i've been talking about it nothing seems to be going uh done about it but these uh these contamination levels and, and i'm not a conspiracy therapist i know no everybody's not out to get me but there is definitely something wrong. Why is it happening, you know, to me? You know, there's problems in racing, but it's not about Baffert. And I just want to get that across to you guys. And uh, Craig, do you want anything to add to this? Or you're fine. But we're gonna, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna fight this. And uh, I just feel it's just an injustice. Bob, Bob, Bob at that level, is that a disqualification from the Derby? Is that the way they tell you? And then well, first of all, he's not disqualified yet. We we have to go through the process. Uh, we have to do a DNA sample. Was it him? Um, something's not right here. Something's just not right. Um, he, uh, you know, it's not a it's not a disqualification until the split sample comes. It's not official until the split sample comes, and that's part of the process. We haven't even got to that yet. Uh, usually, we wait for that before. It, but I knew. I want to get, I want, you know, get in front. I hate this leaking now. Everybody, everything leaks out. People knew about it before I did. And, uh, you know, that's very disturbing. But uh, we're, uh, you know, he's not, you know, we still have to go through the process. He's still the derby winner, but we have to go through that process. You said 21 picograms. What is the level in um, Kentucky? I don't even know. I don't it doesn't know. matter because you said you didn't give it to him. So. No, we didn't. That's one thing we didn't. We did not give the horse. He's, he, he, he wasn't. Nobody here. He wasn't around it. So it's ten. Is it ten? Ten. Ten. So, uh, so to me, I don't. I don't know. It's just to me. I was totally shocked when I heard this news. It was just shocking 
and it's it's just you know i still i'm trying to absorb it right now i still can't believe that i'm talking about it we should be joyful I, I mean we went through the you know you win the most prestigious race in america and and the thing is about it i'm i'm under i know i'm the most scrutinized trainer and i have millions of eyes on me but you know what i don't have a problem with that and that the last thing i want to do is is do something that would jeopardize the greatest two minutes in sports and i just want to get that out there that uh you know this is it's terrible, but um, we have to deal with it now. Bob, this was from a post-race sample. Yeah. yeah. What is your suspicion of what went wrong? You know what? I don't have, I'm not going to speculate. I have no idea where it came from. We don't know. Uh, we can't believe it's in there. Um, and so um, uh, that's something that we're just, uh, you know, like the, the process has to start. We're going to investigate it thoroughly. And so... Um, I thought you can on that. What's the contour of the process? I don't know. Uh, you know, we really didn't. I, I talked to the stewards, and it's, um, you know, it, it's the process. It's, you know, it's, it, I don't know. It could be a way. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Have you had conversation? You said with the stewards, or was there any Yes, I talked to the stewards. I talked to the stewards. They came here, and I talked to the stewards yesterday. And they told me that um, they were going to, uh, contact um, the owner. They want me to, you know, they want to contact the owner. And he was, he was in, uh, he's in uh, Saudi Arabia, wherever he is. Are you afraid? Because uh, what, what happened with Jamin last year? I mean, it's kind of like there's a big story when it happens, and then kind of when they clear you, it's not as big a story. Um, well, Jamin was a different story because we we did everything, we followed the rules, and went extra four days, and still uh, we're in trouble. We we. But we admit we, we did treat her. This force is not treated with with this, and so that that's the part that's that's the scary part, and um, it makes me, as a trainer, um, is this the what is this the life I have to live from now? We 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 have to worry about you win a race, you have to worry a week later. I've never had to worry about a you know worrying about the test. We win a race, never had to worry about it, and so I don't know what is going on with uh, with. Uh, the regulators, things are going on, but uh, I'm just, uh, I'm just, you know, a lost word for him. Well, have you talked to other trainers? Do you feel the same way? Oh yeah, definitely. We know we're sitting ducks, basically, and it's getting worse. And um, and this is something that you know has to be addressed by the industry. Can you tell us what this drug? What what is it used for when it is used? Um, it's a. Um, I, I, I don't. It's an anti-inflammatory. So. Uh, you use it in joint injections. I mean, you have to talk to Vic. Right. What's your plan for the investigation, Bob? Well, I'm gonna, you know, um, Craig Robertson, my lawyer, was here. He's going to, you know, he's gonna. We start the process, and it just whatever, you know. It's just there's a lot of things, you know. Just. Yeah. You know, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna pull hair. I, I, I immediately, I demanded that the state pull hair from him um, to make sure if he's ever had methadone in his system, which he shouldn't, and um, DNA testing, make sure that's the right test. Uh, we, um, we had to, we had to jump through a lot of loops to get to the derby. They do out of competition testing. He had that done on the uh, 18th. Um, uh, that sample, we're going to have them look at that again. I mean, there's a lot of things, just a lot of things we're going to be doing. Um, about, how, about how long might be the full result of the split sample coming back? I think, you know, those things, you don't know about that. You took some steps to try to address the perception of Jamin's health. Um, yes. Can you talk about the process of trying to address the perception of Jamin's problem in your bar and you hired out to bring people in? What changes have you seen? Is we the way been, you do things? Yeah, I mean, the thing is about this, Tim, is that we are, we're aware of being extra careful, clean, wash your hands, uh, everything. And for this to happen, especially on the, in the biggest day, I mean, I'm so proud of the body of work uh, that we've had. And this has really hurt. It, 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 it hurts everybody. We should be, we should be enjoying ourselves. Uh, and then for something like this to happen, it's just... 
is shocking. I still, you know, and so this shouldn't have happened. So I don't know what, there's a problem somewhere. It didn't come from us. Something happened there, so we, we don't know what it is. I don't know. But your procedures changed the way you well, I, mean, I, always, things. I always had really good procedures, yeah. Okay. And everything we did, like, with a justify. I couldn't have prevented that. I mean, he adjusted hay. Uh, I couldn't, the, 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 the Arkansas, the lidocaine. I mean, we thought it was possible that Jimmy would have patched it, and it turned out there was other horses contaminated in that day, and Jimmy didn't contaminate the horse, so it wasn't Jimmy. So we've always been upfront with everybody. We've been very transparent. Anything we do, to me, I was very transparent. You know, showed the vet records. We're going to show the vet records. We're going to, you know, we're going to show them everything. And they're not, they're going to, they're not going to see uh, beta methadone. And, and that's the way, that, that's the way we roll. And we're going to continue to roll that way. Are you going to publicly release those vet records? I, I release them to the, uh, to the uh, Kentucky Horse Race Commission or whoever. You, I've asked you this before. I'm gonna. I'll ask this again. You feel like you're the subject of a witch hunt? Well, I mean, I, I'm. I'm not gonna. I'm not saying that. I just say it just seems odd that why am I the only one that has, uh, you know, the, the contamination? Why am I the only one? That, that just seems odd to me. Of all the races, you know, we won three races that day, and they all got tested, and, and he's the only one, and. Uh, and so, for some reason, I've always gone. And I always ask. First thing I ask, was there any other positive? Um, and they, they've always told me no. And then later on, when you get down the road, you find, oh, yeah, there was. You know. So I don't know. There, there's a lot to, to, to deal with. Do um, you worry about public perception? Well, I'm worried that I'm worried about our sport. Our sport is this is this is not you know we've taken a lot of hits for the sport and um you know this is this is this is not you know this is pretty uh pretty serious accusations here and so um but we're going to get to the bottom of it and find out we know we didn't do it and that's the thing we, we didn't have anything to do with it i don't know how it got in his system if it, if it's in the system or was there a mistake or something we're going to get to the bottom of it Good. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you.